What's up everyone? Welcome to Ola, 10 years later. What's up? Delaney Ironheart, baby. That's what's up. So back in May of 2012, I uploaded a video of a Laney Ironheart. I think it was the 120 watt version. What I have right here is a 60 watt version. Anyways, it was recorded in the Meshuggah studio. I had the Laney Ironheart cabinet or like a Laney cabinet. Not completely sure what type of speakers were in the cabinet. I thought it was a pretty extensive demo. Back then I would make one video just playing a song and then another video of me just tweaking and sitting and playing. And holy shit, did I take the comments to heart back then. <laughs> if you watch the video again, you can see that I'm trying to accommodate everyone in that video. You know, I'm showing the exact microphone placement, the settings. I was also showing like the minimal amount of post-processing and just showing how I did everything like center tracking, double tracking, like everything. I showed everything in that video, but people were still complaining about the video. So 10 years later, I don't care as much about what people think. And, you know, I concentrate a little bit more about why I think it's good. And I think that was a good move. <laughs> My self-confidence is a tad bit better today than it was 10 years back, you know. But also, I'm very humble about it. So the Laney Ironheart, this is the 60 watt version. It's a new, uh, newer amplifier than I tried back in uh, 10 years back. And it was the same back in the day. It wasn't really that expensive if you compare it to other amplifiers. I mean, it's still full tube. This one has two power amp tubes. It's 60 watt compared to 120 watt that I had back in the day. But you still have all the extra, extra bonuses and all that. You know, the watts here, which is basically like a power soaker thing. And, you know, two channels and me. And I didn't have the same cabinet, but I'm using this Mesa Oversize right here. I'm not using the same microphone. I'm using the Neumann TLM 102 in this video, but I am using the same guitar. My Strictly 7 S7G Solar 7 string right here. And holy shit, man. This is a beast of a guitar. Look at that scale length. It's 27 and a half. And as they say, size matters, you know. I'm just gonna start, man. I'm using the settings I was using in that intro song video there. Check this out. That's pretty gnarly, man. I'm only on the rhythm channel, so it's green still. No pre-boost or anything, and no pels in between this and the amplifier, okay? I think this pickup is a uh, custom 5 Alnico in here. Oh, oh shit. I realigned it by pushing it. That's how good it is. So right now I'm using the uh, lower channel right here. Oh. I just pulled the treble for shifting. Damn, 
damn son, okay. That's deep right there, so you give a little bit more of a sub bass going or a depth. So the good thing about having a longer scale, 27 and a half, is that, you know, the low end tuning, if you're tuning low, it will sound really good and really separated and nice. The drawback is that the scale is longer, so it's a little tougher to play, and also the, the higher upper fret axis right here sounds like shit, basically. It's a little shrill, so... Dude, it's so far to move the hands compared to a regular 7-string. Alright, let's engage the pre-boost. Something weird is happening when I engage the pre-boost. I think I remember this from 10 years back. You have to be really careful uh, with the pre-boost. So either you turn down the, the uh, regular gain and push the pre-boost or vice versa, okay? Not both at the same time, that's just gonna explode. In a farting explosion, listen. Doesn't sound too good, but if you go like this, it cleans up fairly nice. Okay, let's try the tone here. That's nasty, man. But uh, let me hook this up to uh, a six string because that's also something a lot of people complain about. Oh, why are you only playing seven string and it's very low tune to Q or... <laughs> oh, drooling. So let me bring in this six string guitar that's also tuned to drop Q. It's actually not that bad. It's probably drop uh, C sharp. That's tight and nice, man, okay. The distortion character of this amplifier is really, really modern and nice, I would say. I think it's more about the, the, uh, the power amp section sounds a little all over the place. It doesn't sound as compact, it sounds very, very big uh, and a little uncontrolled, I would say. Alright, let's head over to the lead. And just as 10 years back, I think I prefer the green rhythm more than the red lead. You can see that in my video, I was playing the rhythm channel at all times. Uh, not all times, but in the song at least. It has a different type of character too, okay, but if we set the settings the exact same, how do they differ? Okay, they're all pulled. Uh, 
I think the green channel sounds a lot cleaner. Uh, <laughs> I think that sounds incredible. Doing the pre-boost. The push is just so much better without the pre-boost. <laughs> Let's work the dynamics a little bit. I think that sounds really good. I have to work for it, man. You can hear that, it's just disappearing a little bit. Like... That's a little weird. So there you go, man. That's the Laney Ironheart in 2022. I don't believe people understood how hard it was to make a video back in the day. I only had like one camera and you know, you have to set up a microphone and use a, a, a computer and it, uh, I didn't have a stationary office like this so it was a little tougher back then to make videos. It's way easier now to make a video like this because I have several cameras, I can show you the settings and what I'm doing, I can record myself while doing it so I've come a lot longer in terms of me being able to make a demo like this. I look back at that video and I'm like Poor Ola. What was he doing back then? <laughs> back then, maybe I was a little uncertain, you know? So there you go. That's the Laney Ironheart 60 watt for you right there. Hope you enjoyed this video. And also let me know what amplifier you would like to see me do next for Ola 10 years later. Thank you. Goodbye.